Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make some uh, guaje sauce so I can give you the ingredients. Okay, so the guajes, uh, you're gonna see them on the store, on the Mexican stores, okay? They're like this. So they're the pots, and the guaje is a tree, a fruit tree. It, it's uh, from acacia tree, okay? So this one, we're gonna use the seeds, okay, from the pot. And sometimes, you know, they don't know how to use them or what to do with them. So you're just gonna open it like this, okay? And then you're just gonna run your finger through the pot, like that. And uh, just put them on the in a container or plate or something, okay? And this is a typical um, dish on the center of uh, Mexico, you know, on the, on the state. Comes from Guerrero, uh, Oaxaca, Puebla, Mexico City. They use it a lot, mostly on the north side, you know, on the south side, cent uh, center side of Mexico. And we're gonna make a salsa with this, a Mexican salsa. So we're gonna need, you know, as much as seeds from the guajes, and then a quarter of onion, mince, some cilantro, chopped mince. And also, you can either use uh, plum tomatoes, green tomatoes, the tomatillos, your choice, and uh, jalapenos. I'm gonna use two, and about four uh, cloves of garlic. These ones are some uh, tomatoes that I got from my garden, some uh, black tomatoes. And also, I found some uh, ghost pepper. So this one is supposed to be more like spices than uh, habanero. So we're gonna give them a try, see what happens. It's gonna be optional, okay? Or you can use the chile piquín, chile de árbol, your choice. Or chile guajillo. I have a recipe for chile guajillo in my, in my channel. You can make the guajillo sauce and then just add the pepitas, okay, the guajis. And also, we're gonna need a mocajete. Or you can use the blender if you don't have the mocajete, okay? And some uh, salt. And then uh, what I did with the, since I have all my ingredients pre, uh, roasted, I did it in the comal over here. So when I was done with that, we're gonna toast our guaje seeds, okay? In a uh, lightly. So we're gonna come back when these ones are, you know, ready. It's gonna take about a minute or two. And you have to keep a stir so that way they don't burn, okay? I'm gonna come back and show you the final salsa or how to, the next step you know how to make the salsa. Okay, so I'm gonna add the ghost pepper to my sauce since I have the tree or the plant. And uh, since we're gonna have uh, 10,000 uh, subscribers in my channel, they say, why don't you do something special, something different, you know, like a little challenge. So I'm just gonna use my ghost pepper with my seeds and make my Mexican extra extra hot sauce. Maybe I don't know. We'll see how how hot is the ghost pepper. And uh, we're gonna come back and show you how to make the salsa. Okay. Okay. So for the salsa, we're gonna start with the garlic and some salt. Okay, on the bottom. And then you're just gonna crush it like this. So cream it basically. Then you're gonna add the peppers, okay? You can put them in a the blender, <clears throat> and then all the ingredients. Then just add about, you know, some uh, I would say about half a cup of water. It's gonna be optional, and then just pulse, you know, like a few seconds, and you're gonna have the same result, you know, basically, because you're just gonna pulse it, you know, crush them a little bit. You're not gonna blend them for too long, so it's like a few seconds and the salsa's ready, okay? It's gonna be up to you, however you wanna make it. And then we're gonna add the tomato, okay? See, we don't need to add more water because we're gonna have the water from the tomato, the juice. And I also add some of our black pepper corn, okay? I put about four or five, okay? Or you can use the ready grind, whatever you wanna do, and just crush them, so that way we have some black pepper in here. 
that's going to be optional. And then I'm just going to finish this, come back and show you, um, you know, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients, the pepitas from the wajes, and my main ingredient, the ghost pepper. Mm. Okay, so we're going to come back and show you the next step. Okay, so now that you have, you know, your tomato crush and everything, what I did, I'm going to use the ghost pepper now. I use half in the Spanish video. So now we're going to finish it. Okay. And this is for my 10,000 subscribers video. You know, a little challenge. And I always want to try the ghost pepper. Because they say that, oh, it's really spicy, you know, this and that. So I just want to, you know, make sure. Double, you know. I will check and I like a spicy food you know I like uh, habaneros I never tried this one before one time I did the challenge of the habanero peppers how many can I eat in a taco stand and I had about four of the habaneros with three tacos and also it was some habaneros in the meat plus on the side so you know I can handle heat so now I'm gonna add the uh, wahi seeds, some cilantro, okay? And this one, you're just gonna mix it or crush it a little bit. <clears throat> you know, it's gonna be up to you. And here you have your wahi sauce a la mexicana, salsa de wahi al estilo mexicano. You can smell the ghost pepper, right? It is really good, really spicy too. And I start feeling it right here. It's gonna keep working. So hopefully you guys like this recipe. Like I say, you know, you can substitute your chiles for however you want it. You control the heat. And uh, thank you for everything. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, enjoy.